Yeah. Harry, Marvin on the phone. Where are you? I I'm with Lois. Harry, you have to wait for me. Well, how long are you going to be? Uh, somewhere between 15 minutes and five hours. Harry? Harry? Harry, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get out of my marriage. I, I finally found the perfect excuse. It's, it's an incredible lie. I just, I just hope I, I don't have to use it. And you want me to wait for five hours? Harry, I, I need to know I'll be able to talk to you when this is over. I, I'm really doing it, Harry. I mean, I, I, I can't be alone after a thing like that. I mean, it's, it's bad enough Lois has to be alone. Marvin, you're not going to do it. I really am. I, I have a, a passport and, and a checkbook, and very soon now, I'm, I'm going to be able to, to go wherever I want. Then what do you want to come to this bar for? Harry. All right. I'll wait right here. Thanks. It's a little, uh, little warm, isn't it? Uh, a little. Good idea, that'll, that'll make you feel better. It really, really feels good. I was really feeling warm there. Better now? Yes. Good. Okay. When are you going to tell me how come? How come? Well, this is the first time you've ever taken me out for dinner before your poker game. How come? <laughs> what, are you feeling guilty that you uh, run off every Thursday night, leave me all alone? All right, Lois, I'll, I'll tell you why I, I brought you here rather than speaking to you at the house. I, I thought that you, you'd be less likely to, to scream in a in a public place. <laughs> the only thing that I can think of that you could possibly tell me to make me want to scream is, Lois, uh, please scream. It's <clears throat> not what I had in mind. Well, uh, don't drag it out. You, you know how I hate things dragged out. Well, I, I just... I... Don't drag out. Lois, I'm going to leave you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I, I should have been smart enough to, to do this at home. F forget about it for right now. We'll wait till we get home. Wait? You want me to wait? I can't wait! All right. I can't wait! All right. Ah! 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 All right. I, I've been thinking about this for, for a long time, and I, I really think it's, it's the best thing for, for both of us. Well, it's not the best thing for me. For me, it's the worst possible thing. Funny. The worst! Honey, you're always telling me what, what a rotten husband I am. You're not. You're a wonderful husband. But, but you're always complaining, huh? I lied. You're a fine husband. And, and, and you're a good wife, I, I, I guess. Thank you. <sighs> oh, but, but that doesn't solve anything. Do you want to take a trip? By yourself. 
but we'd still see each other. I mean, this isn't that bad. I mean, d d divorce isn't anything. I, I really don't want to hear that word, divorce. I really don't. I'm afraid you're going to have to, because <laughs> that's what I want. You're going to leave me alone. Even though you know my true age, you're going to do that to me. For what? For divorce? Can you be that, that selfish, that incredibly self-centered? Is that what you want me to believe? I can't believe that. I can't believe it. That any human being could be that selfish. <sighs> that, that was fantastic. I mean, you, <laughs> you, you, you almost had me going there. Lois, I, I have to do this. Because... I'm gonna take all the money. I'm gonna get Louis Neiser. And Mr. Neiser and I will get all the money. There, there's plenty of money, plenty for both of us. Marvin, if you leave me, I'll kill myself. Yes, look at me, look me right in the eye. So you know I mean it. I am not bragging. Bragging? You know what I mean. What I mean is, when you're out at night, you'll never know whether that's the night that I decided to blow my head off. Lois, I'm, uh, I'm going to tell you the real reason why I have to leave. Now, if, if you feel the same way after I've told you. Then I'll stay. much easier for both of us. Well, well, what is it? You know what would be wonderful? It would be wonderful if human beings didn't feel they had to know everything. Like that you could just feel good for me that, that I got through it without having this awful curiosity. You spent months boring hell out of me with your hunt for the perfect excuse. And you told me you found it. And I've waited over five hours so that you'd have company after you used it. So I think you'd better tell me what it is. No, it, was, it was no big deal. I just I told Lois I had turned into a fruit. Now can we get going? You mean you actually kept a straight face and told her I had to. I mean, you, you, you have no idea how, how bad it was getting. You know, when I told her I turned into a sissy, there was this calm, this wonderful, calm, gentle understanding. A few gentle tears. We were really closer than we've ever been. It was, it was beautiful. I was almost wishing it were true. She just accepted it? She asked some questions, mostly technical. And she accepted it. Marvin, are you, are you 100% 
absolutely sure it isn't true? That's really insulting, Carl. Well, I never knew a man to lie about a thing like that. Not that. I mean, to say he was when he wasn't. <laughs> that's, that's a real first. <laughs>